Okay, before moving on, we're going to actually fix the earth uh, around this model. So before doing anything, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this panel and go under vegetation and landscape, and we're going to bring in a landscape. Now it depends where your model is. This is in the middle of a city, so it's a flat model. I'm going to just drag this in, and this is going to allow me to sculpt the terrain. So what I did is, if you recall, I wanted to make sure my door was visible, but you can you can see as if I move with my A key here that there starts to be, and I'm going to move in here, and you can see there as well, it's lifted off the ground. So how can I fix that? So I'm going to show you the technique. I won't do the whole model because, uh, you know, you'll have way more time with your students. So as long as you added the landscape in, which is what I did, and then you click the sculpt terrain. There's two parts in the sculpt terrain that you really need. And I would just leave the diameter at 10. Maybe you can go a little bit more, 15. Uh, this is up and this is flattened. So we want to flatten it and adapt it. So I'm going to start and you can see, you know, there's two parts of the circle. The middle part is the most intense part. So I'm just going to click it so you can see how it lifts. Okay. So, and then on the outside, it, it sort of uh, has some rock, but we're going to fix that with the flatten tool. So what we really want to do is go in and just lift it to wherever. Okay. About there. And that's pretty good. Now it, it changes over time. So we're going to have to modify it. So I'm going to click the flatten tool and I'm just going to, okay. And you see, I'm starting to cover the windows here and maybe I also want to go out a little bit this way and basically flatten it. And what I could do is if I think, okay, now it's starting to cover the windows a little too much. I'm going to do another circle here and make sure the inner circle is done separate because it kind of lifts it up and you see, I'm just trying to get it at the bottom. And I'm going to use again the flatten tool and I'm just going to and I want to make sure it's filled in and I'm pretty happy with that. So it's pretty quick uh, once you understand it, it's just these two techniques. And what you can do is students have a lot more time again than I do. They can take the, their time to go in. Oh, well, that was a mistake. So I'm going to just go and, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It should look rough. This part and here's a door. That's interesting to know. Uh, maybe it actually like I want to rem remind you that we're focusing on the outside of the models. I mean, you could have a student if they wanted to focus on the inside, if for some reason, uh, on a case by case basis. And you just go around the whole thing and, you know, set up your baseline, which is th the first bump. Make sure it's OK. Then click here, then flatten and then fill in. And this one looks like it's a little bit higher, but let's give it a shot here. And yeah, it needs to be a little bit higher. So I'm going to go here and bump it up a little bit. And then I'm going to go over here and do that too. Some of these old buildings over time too moved. And I could definitely flatten that here. And I could even with the shift key go down. Okay. So if I click on this one and I click the shift key, it brings it down. Okay. I don't know if you saw that because I did make a little mistake there. And I could click the shift key and then I can go back because I definitely so shift is your friend here and I'm going to leave it like that because this is definitely you see this castle slash cathedral is, is like that so that's the first phase okay of adapting the landscape and I do the whole castle or the whole cathedral all the way around all right so that's how you fix the landscape I will repeat so what you do is you add flat landscape you could be rocky depending if you're out in the uh, wilderness or something but this is good for uh, most places, I think. And then once you have that, just click on it and then you will have the brush come up. 